the miles trekked. I think that's the biggest thing that sets trucker hunters apart from other hunters. Nevada is 87% or roughly public land, so whenever you're up ready, dogs are fed, load them up and you know, grab your boots, shotgun, vest, and go out and chase these birds. It's a challenge, it's not easy, it's not for the weak, and they're fortunate to get out there multiple days, it's, it's, it's wearing on the body. Truck running is different from other upland hunting in the sense that these birds are high mountain birds or they could be in the rolling hills, you really don't know. Uh, which is why a dog is crucial in hunting them. These are just birds that, that add an added challenge to you know getting into them, and uh, by doing so, it, it decreases your chances of being successful. I think a lot of people you know that drive through may think, oh, you know, there's there's nothing out here. Basically, anything you see, for the most part, you can hunt. To be able to explore new territory, have that access, and not have to be you know. You don't have to be a millionaire with 100,000 acres and a ranch, you know, in order to enjoy, you know, the outdoors and, and the hunt. It's definitely land that's put to good use. To have the freedom and ability to hunt these open lands, to these public lands that we continue to uh, push for uh, keeping that way, that they remain public, we want to give back, and which is why the Chucker Chasers Foundation was really founded. It's not solely wildlife conservation, which we support, but it's so youths get involved, see what it's like. You know, we, they have the ability to hunt behind uh, bird dogs in a controlled environment, and we hope that from that exposure, that then it just grows from there. I think for me, the the beauty of, of chucker hunting and, and being out there is it's almost like a meditation. In that moment when you're running up that hill and your heart's pounding, you've seen the dog work, the dog's on point, and you're trying to make it up there. And you're like, are the birds gonna hold? Is the dog gonna hold? Your legs are burning, your lungs are burning. In that moment, you're not thinking of anything except for that moment. And I think that's something that's rare nowadays, where you can completely disconnect and live in that second. And so being able to have that all come together, it doesn't matter how many times you've seen it. That moment when the birds get up, it scares you. And sometimes you miss. But still that moment when you see those colors, it's, uh, it's surreal in that moment for those couple seconds where it's just you, the dog, and the birds, and that's really the only thing on your mind. And uh, you know, you just hope you don't fall down and, and make a clean shot.
So my name is Alec Garcia. Uh, I'm one of the um, people behind Chucker Chasers, and yeah, just somebody that likes to chucker hunt. And started off as uh, kind of a fun, fun hobby, and has evolved into something a little bit bigger than just going out on the weekend. So I got into chucker hunting when I was 12. My uncle got me into it. All right, Jock, don't let me down. Find some birds. Based in Reno, Nevada, um, kind of hunt all over. I mean, we're right on the, the California border, uh, not too far from Oregon, Idaho, and uh, I just kind of out west here in the heartland of open range and uh, public lands. We got out for this weekend, uh, played hooky one day, and got a hunt in on Friday, but really just kind of took the opportunity to check out some new places and hunt places that we hadn't been before. There's just so many, so many opportunities in so many different places you can go. It's uh, fun to try new spots, and sometimes you strike out, and you know, sometimes you, you hit a home run. But if you don't go, you'll never, you'll never know. Put on three, three good days of uh, a lot of hiking, hunted and everything from super dry, rocky country into you know mountaintops that had snow and junipers and that kind of stuff in it and so uh, really a diverse landscape which always you know makes it fun. My name's Damon, grew up in Winnemucca, Nevada. I met Alec in college, um, we had some mutual friends, um, and actually growing up, I, although my dad raised me chugger hunting, uh, exposed me to the outdoors, um, I thought I was better than that, and so gave up a couple years chucker hunting, and then came to college and realized all these individuals I was meeting, they were hunting. And whether it was waterfowl, big game, or upland, uh, I figured, oh, maybe this is actually not just a dad type of sport. Uh, and got into chucker hunting, or get, got back into it by uh, you know Alec and a couple other buddies who uh, enjoyed it and were passionate about it. Yeah, so Chugger Chasers kind of just started uh, through a group of friends, uh, mutual, you know, love for the outdoors and hunting, and uh, from there it kind of, you know, spun off to, you know, some hats being made that, you know, people were wearing, and uh, then from there we started the nonprofit uh, Chugger Chasers Foundation, uh, which has a board now of, uh, you know, about 15 individuals, and uh, um, all from diverse backgrounds. Some some are hunters, some aren't, um, but we really try and, you know, reach the the youth and and give back to the kind of that upland community, um, get people involved and engage people that may not normally have uh, an opportunity to hunt, to get them out there and just experience what we ha you know, have out here in the, um, in the West. Nobody likes to see somebody that's in their spot when they get there, um, but as a percentage of the population, I think there's fewer and fewer people that are hunting or have that opportunity to hunt, either because they don't know anybody that does or they don't have anybody to take them. So you know, if, we can, if we can get people into it, great, or if we can get people at least to understand you know, what we're doing and why and you know, the benefits, uh, hopefully then they decide, you know, even if they don't want to hunt, uh, hey, let's, let's keep you know, access to you know, public places and let's keep stuff so that if I want to or my kids want to or my grandkids want to, they have the opportunity to do that and go chase wild birds. Mm -hmm.